Welcome back, Plushomaniacs, to another year of Luigi unboxing. So in this package right here is the old 2010 Sine Luigi, and I purchased this from Electronic Bay for about $13, and it was free shipping. So this is a really good deal for what it's supposed to be for the 2010 Red Tag Sine Luigi. Now it was sort of like a stock photo. There were three inv uh, three available. So there, there could be a all-star Luigi. It could be a different type of Luigi in here. We do not know what type of Luigi it is, but I know that I ordered a 2010 Luigi. So that is what I'm hoping to get because otherwise it would be considered a failed unboxing. So let's get right into this package. This is our another year of Luigi unboxing for you in this 40 year celebration of the of the green man himself so yep here he is the the uh the red tagged sine luigi plus wow this is an original one look at that old logo made from china so wow this thing looks very very derpy but i i actually like how this looks a lot because this is a um what, what do you call it? This is an original print copy of the 2010 Luigi, and you can tell that by the old logo. Uh, well, let's see, the little buddy tag is still made in China. So that's where that's from. It has the old text right there. The old text right there that says, that says Super Mario Plush 2000. So this is a 2011 one. I've been saying the wrong year the whole time. It's 2011, not 2010, and you can tell that this looks very, very familiar to the 2000 to the new Super Mario Bros. Wii Luigi. Looks very similar to it, and this looks just like the Luigi stock photos. So you may, you may, people watching this may think it looks derpy, but I actually really like how this thing looks, and it actually looks quite different from my Fire Luigi. So speaking of the Fire Luigi, let's get on to some comparisons. Okay, here he is. I realized that I forgot to do like the concrete material review. So I'll just get onto that real quick. All of this, the whole body is made of the soft polyester fabric that we all know the Sine plushes to have. The um, sideburns are made with a really thin felt, a fully 3D modeled mustache, which is very nice, a well-stitched round nose. The eyes and the eyebrows are finely stitched like that. And you can see thanks to the quality of this new phone, you can see the, just how soft this plush is. You can see like the different ways the fabric moves. Like if I go like this with my trusty finger, you can see how it goes up and down because this is a very new plush. I got this brand new from Electronic Bay, as I previously said. Brand new, no one's touched this. And this must have been kept in storage for over, tw this is 12, this is a 12 year old plush now. Because we're in the year of Luigi 2023. This is 2011. So that is 12 years that this thing has stayed in such good condition. And it has beads in the feet like we all know the Sine plushes to have. Whoa, I did not know that. This has beads in the shoes. That is very cool, I did not realize that. And you know what? I just realized this too, that the Fire Luigi has beads in the feet. So I've had this plush since like 2015. And right now for the first time, 2023, Eight years later, I barely discovered that my Fire Luigi plush that I've had for eight years has beads in it. So wow, I just discovered that on camera now, so you just witnessed a wild McCormick moment there. So both of these have beads in the feet, and I guess I'll start comparing them, and I'll start with this because I already brought it up onto the camera. This is the 2012, so not 2011, this is the 2012 Fire Luigi plush by Sine. And it is currently, as of 2023, the only Sine Fire Luigi plush we have because there is still not an all-star one for some reason. So these two, there is a lot of differences. Now, like I said, this was purchased in 2015, which means it was likely produced in 2015 or 2014 or 13. And you can tell that it looks very different from this original 2011 model. So you can see that this one has a wider face the eyes are closer together, the nose is bigger, the mustache is the same size on these, but the nose is bigger, the eyebrows on this one are smaller, the head on this one is bigger, 
but this one is wider and the hat is fits better on this one because you can see more of the hair on the original Luigi compared to this one so you can tell that this was still a test phase release for this one because you can just tell by how how old this one is just by looking at the tush tag that I've already shown this is the old logo this had to have been made in 2010 or 2011 because they stopped using this logo in 2011 and transitioned to this logo which appears on this one so that is a helpful tip for your plushes in general if it has an old logo like that you know it was produced before 2011 and if it has that logo it is produced on 2012 or afterward because that is when they adopted the new logo so you will not see any all-star plushes or future plushes with that old logo because Nintendo phased that out in 2011 so that's pretty much all the differences of these this one just looks a little bigger just because the head is bigger but like all the body size is the same the legs are a little longer but it's just a larger head smaller eyebrows it's pretty much the only differences with those two. And everything I'm going to be comparing it to is not is not recent. I'm going to be comparing it with just other Luigi's of the time period. So the next one you're comparing it to is the medium version of this 2011 Luigi. This medium one was released a year later in 2012. And you can see that it looks very, very similar. Just the eyes and eyebrows are further apart from each other compared to the smaller one. And everything has just been upscaled about half the size or about two times the size rather of this one they have all the same details this one has beads in the feet that i still did not know that it did now so i guess all the old luigi's have beads in the feet since i can stop repeating myself because i just discovered that all these had beads in the feet i did not know that previously so there's not much to add that is different on this compared to this one now let's move on to this other Luigi of the time period. These are all, all four. These are early 2010s Luigi's and these are some of our favorites personally just because they have a lot of charm and nostalgia. So let's move on to this one. This one it has a lot of different qualities on it. The eyebrows on these ones are shaped very very weird like he looks kind of angry on these. And the mustache is made of it's way flatter. It's not as three-dimensional as this one. You can see it like that. The, this one goes, it doesn't go out as more, it doesn't pop out as more because it's not as three dimensional. Everything has been downscaled about the, about half the size on this one. So if you have this Luigi and you're wondering how big this one is, it is about half the size of this one right here. So they shrunk it and then they put it on a yellow Yoshi to go along with New Super Mario Bros. Wii, which was the most recent 2D Mario game at the time of release of most of these because these three came out during the Mario Bros. 2 and U era and this one came out right after we released. Now one could argue that Sine just reprinted their Super Mario Bros. Wii Luigi and gave it this regular tag because they look pretty much the same. If you have a Wii Luigi then you pretty much have this one but the only difference is just the Mario Bros. Wii logo. So I would not go out of your way to find a old Sine Luigi if you have the new Super Mario Brothers Wii Luigi and the converse also applies to that as well. So here you have it, four different early 2010s Luigis. I went very in depth on this one more than I usually do so I hope you enjoyed this spectacular Luigi unboxing. We have a ton of Luigi's videos planned for you this year because you know it's the 40th anniversary of Luigi's debut, so we're celebrating the year of Luigi. So if you're a fan of Luigi, or plush unboxings in general, we recommend you subscribe to our network below because we upload tons of videos like this each and every year. And we have a, a big backlog of unboxings that you can go watch right now. You can click on the playlist in the end card and you can begin your plush journey. So thank you very much for watching, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and join our Super Mario Discord server in the link in the description below. It's a very big active community and we hope to see you there. So thank you very much for watching this unboxing. So long.